So I'm gonna turn it over to Lisa Sullivan, Dean of Faculty, to welcome us all. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, welcome all of you. On behalf of the college, and in particular, on behalf of President Maria Clave, who is not able to join us this afternoon, I want to extend a very warm welcome to all of our clinic students, liaisons, and advisors for our very brief celebration. We are sorry that we can't see you in person, but I'm glad we can take this moment to gather together and celebrate the completion of your clinic projects. When clinic launched in September, we could never have imagined how this year would end. The move to online work in mid-March was difficult. The college, um, we are a hands-on institution, but it was a particular challenge for clinic teams which depend on successful teamwork and collaboration. We are humbled and awed by how all of you responded and the perseverance that you demonstrated in seeing each of the projects through to conclusion, many of them moments ago with the submission of your final reports. We realize that the class of 2020 has faced unprecedented obstacles to success. And while we know much of this loss is personal, clinic is a unique part of our curriculum and involves a commitment to external clients. We are so proud of the professional way in which you have continued to work on their behalf. We are enormously grateful to our clinic sponsors and the liaisons who made this transition with their teams. Some of you are alums, others are new and old friends. And again, thank you for continuing to work with your team to provide meaningful guidance and collaboration through this very difficult semester. When clinic was conceived 57 years ago, the push button telephone was brand new, replacing the rotary dial um, as, as replacing the rotary dial phone, television was black and white uh, and offered three channels. The changes in technology since then have meant that you were able to work as a team from your bedrooms, dining rooms, and porches, talking to each other through screens in real time without wires. Another invention from 1963 was the smiley face, the grandparent of the emoji. How many emojis did you share with your team in the past two months as you made progress and had setbacks? Because of your experiences this year, you are uniquely prepared to move into a world of work in which online communication is a vital tool for effective teamwork. So congratulations, hats off, kudos, and many, many smiley faces to all of you for your work this year. We have tremendous confidence in your resilience, and we look forward to learning about your success in the years to come. Now I'll invite Zach Dodd, CS Clinic Director, to share some thoughts on behalf of the clinic directors. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us for this clinic victory lap. Um, I want to add my own congratulations to every member of every team for making it, for making it from clinic launch, as Dean Sullivan said, in September, where we did not envision this, to clinic landing today, and as noted, uh, maybe moments ago, uh, maybe happening right now. And I admit that we may not be landing in the airport or really even the city where we envisioned landing, but from whatever city you're in, it has been your effort, uh, and this means the efforts of all of our sponsor liaisons, our faculty advisors, our staff and administration, and most of all, all of you team members who wrestled with this year's open-ended, authentic clinic projects. And it is by your effort that we have landed successfully and landed together. And I hope that you give yourself space um, amid our quarantining and the COVID outbreak to feel really good, to feel really good about landing so successfully, so resiliently, um, and so together. So thank you all and congratulations all. Now, um, I have a couple of other things I want to share. And in addition, I have uh, a victory screech I want to share. The victory screech comes at the end of an important ceremony um, that, that's next, but I'm gonna have a mini victory screech. So here's the mini victory screech, just so you're, you're primed. The mini victory screech, sort of a clinic catharsis is, ah! That was just one. The actual victory screech, the formal clinic catharsis is five. That was just one, but that feels good. Um, now, the truth is, on a more serious note, with Clinic Complete, I'm now allowed to share with you the five secrets of Clinic, which each year we directors are duty-bound to preserve under utmost secrecy until after Clinic is done. 
Now, as this year's revealer, I have included, um, as I like to do, a few pictures and selfies to help convey all these secrets. And you might not be surprised that I've also decided that all five secrets should be expressed um, in Python code. So here they are. Secret number five, liaisons are people. Now, I realize this secret may not come as quite a surprise to all of the liaisons who've joined us. Thank you, liaisons. But I will say it is a wonderful part of clinic that the theoretical people, uh, again, thank you, liaisons, that those who are in the field professionally pursuing the kind of work that we in clinic pursue are also actual people. Um, they're actual people that we subject to things like listening to me present, as you see right here. Um, and like us, they start off in September unsure of what their clinic collaboration will bring. One of the things that makes clinic so distinct is that the teams and the liaisons are all pushing or pulling from the same side of the challenge. And there are distinct strengths for sure. Liaisons bring knowledge, domain expertise, teams bring openness and energy, time and creativity. But the wonderful facet of clinic is that all team members, liaisons alike, walk alongside each other, equally invested in the effort of the year. And in fact, they are people. Um, for example, there are people who've never been to Costco before. Uh, thank you to our liaison, Kieran, for taking his first trip to Costco as part of his clinic visit here to Claremont. It turned out to be very fruitful in a uh, Costco sort of way, so I appreciate that. And what's more, the quarantine has really multiplied this effect. How else could we celebrate uh, Daisy's birthday, Daisy, our liaison, Josh Jones's daughter, complete with pillow attack submission and ultimately what seems like a coronation of sorts uh, right here. So congratulations to our, our new monarch. Um, and the truth is, my real message to all of our liaisons is one of thanks that I and all of us deeply appreciate all of you, the liaison's investments in the clinic experience. The sponsoring investment, yes. The time investment, yes. The technical investment, yes. But also, perhaps most of all, the personal investment, the generosity as a person throughout. And to be honest, the fact that liaisons are people also has important implications because it means the leap from student and clinic team member to liaison is really more like a small step. In fact, here's Brittany Wong, who made that step last year from uh, WebRoot Clinic team member to this year WebRoot Clinic liaison. It's a step all of you have already taken. And I, I know that my fellow directors agree that we are looking forward to all of your returning and liaisoning with clinic in the future. Thank you. That's only secret number five. Secret number four. And the secret number four, I have to admit, it's a little more deeply encoded perhaps, but I think everyone will agree that in clinic, your initial goal is not necessarily your final goal. And as just one example, uh, the subjects, well, the frosh on which our Lincoln Lab team this year was going to experiment with their robot design gave way after all of the changes of the year to a very different but also very valuable set of outcomes. And every year, it's true, clinic teams pivot, sponsors reorganize. Last year, uh, a sponsor folded midway. In all cases, clinic teams adapt to the constraints, the opportunities that these changes have. But admittedly, in the COVID year, this makes this secret sort of truer than it's ever been, with every team making significant adjustments. And for this secret as well, thank you teams, because I and all the clinic directors have been inspired by the versatility by the creativity you've showed through the unanticipated twists and turns that you've succeeded in navigating. So on to, let's see what's going on here. On to secret number three. Um, secret number three, uh, I don't usually like to admit this, but for secret number three, this is really more mathematics than, than code. It's true that the journey shifts and outputs into a destination, but it's even truer that with clinic, the journey is much greater than the destination itself. And there have been so many journeys this year. And for sure, the clinic journey is a tiring one. Um, thank you to our Steelcase team. And it can span huge distances from prototyping to being photobombed. Uh, this is in Grand Rapids. Uh, and it can be from presenting in Malta to New York 
to San Diego. But ultimately, all of these destinations, as awesome as they are, and I know this is only a tiny subset, are second to what we bring back to us when we return. And the truth is, it's that that we build on when we construct our sort of shared clinic experience and our shared clinic progress and uh, deliverable throughout the year. Now, to be honest, quarantine has doubled down on this third secret too. Um, whether it's Harvey Mudd College East Campus, which is in Atlanta, Lisa, you may be interested that we have an East Campus in Atlanta. Thank you for hosting us, Jenna. Or, I, I have to say I love this, putting on a, <laughs> a new and somewhat dangerous take on Zooming. I'm happy to say that uh, Sally did make it safely both through the journey, the drive, and the teleconference. Um, so journey-wise, I want to thank everyone, liaisons and teams alike, for the sharedness of the journey we have undertaken energetically and making it to our, to our landing today. All right, secret number two. Secret number two is call on your team. The truth is, clinic's essence are its teams. Everything else can change, goals can change, paths can persist or paths can pivot. But when you're constructing a clinic, and admittedly, that's not an exaggeration, although the raw materials will absolutely vary, or when you're out in the cold or in in the cold, and whether you're outside or inside, it is the shared team experience that, in my opinion, most fundamentally defines what is distinctive about clinic. And uh, the truth is I have this wonderful team cohort, shared team detail that just happened yesterday in uh, a final presentation, the Indeed team's final presentation. So I'm offering you just a moment, five seconds, to take a look at this snapshot of a um, Zoom grid. Do you notice anything suspicious about the Zoom grid in this Indeed team final presentation. Because I was there and I was eager for the, um, the final presentation to start. And I kept looking around thinking, wow, this is really, something's, something's awry here. And I'm not, I wasn't sure how to articulate what it was. And you may already have seen it. But what it was is that Nana has this sort of unusual mark on the wall behind her where she video conferences. And just as a signal, as a badge of their indeed teaminess, everyone else used Nana's wall as the background for their presentation, which I absolutely loved. In fact, it seems like the liaisons almost have done so, but they don't have the source wall, I guess. Um, the truth is, this is the right moment for me to say that speaking of teams, both on behalf of myself personally and on behalf of all clinic directors, liaisons, students, the whole cohort here, let me thank our team, our amazing staff of Joanne Thomas, Lorena Gonzalez, Sarani Gunasena, and in the Corporate Relations Office, Kelly Barker and Colleen Cox, all of whom are the ones who make it possible for the clinic program to exist, to run, and no matter what happens, this team finds a way. So many, many thanks to our clinic team team. As one liaison who was debriefing from the year um, yesterday said, Clinic teams will accomplish more than you anticipate. And those are the kinds of projects I love to be a part of. And I can say, on behalf of myself and all the directors, advisors, and staff, I also love to be a part of precisely those kinds of teams. So thank you, teams. And that brings us to the ultimate clinic secret, secret number one, which is this. Now, for the syntactically stringent, yes, is, is, a Python keyword. Um, and for the skeptical, yes, this is a Boolean statement that could be either true or false. But the reason that I know this Boolean statement is true is that like life, clinic is more than the sum of its parts. And like life, clinic is more than the current goal at hand as worthwhile and important as the current goal at hand might be. Like life, clinic has ambition and challenge but it is more than clinic and more than, uh, it is more than ambition and more than challenge to be part of clinic. And like life, and to be honest, like these images, clinic is sometimes too genuine to even be parsable into smaller components. I'm not sure what's happening in this image. Uh, 
but I'm excited about it. Um, this screenshot, I can't even begin to parse, but this did happen naturally in the course of some kind of presentation that was happening this spring. Uh, and, and clinic has its formal, its informal, and its surreal sides. And I had to share that just as here, we have this formal, the informal, and what can only be described as a surreal side, this uh, Yasu puppet of uh, our liaison and engineering major, Yasu Shimeles from the class of 18. Thank you, Yasu. And like life, clinic has asked you to do something that is both difficult and worthwhile, and you have. And there are unexplored paths, there are unsolved problems, always will be. Unfortunately, there are uncelebrated ceremonies and uneaten clinic direct, <laughs> that's true, uneaten clinic dinners. And I'm hoping that someday we will have that clinic dinner. But that's the future. The future aside, I wanna point out what's now in the books. What's now in the books is that all of you, in fact, all of us have a year, a remarkable, unexpected, memorable, and most of all shared year that you have fashioned out of clinics raw material. And so before we turn to face the many more such years that are on their way, I want to recognize and, and acknowledge that accomplishment because that is remarkable. So thank you all and congratulations on our amazing 2019-2020 clinic year. Uh, it has been absolutely something and by tradition, after these revealing of the secrets, we undergo our victory screech. So, as this year's designated screecher, I invite all of you to join me for a full five second, five lap victory screech, either outright vocally or perhaps even more powerfully, psychically. I will try to channel that. All right, we're gonna have a five second countdown and then I'm making sure I'm ready, a five lap screech. Here we go. Okay, five. Four, three, two, one. Ah! With Python. Ah! With bear. Ah! With air horn. <laughs> With other air horn. Ah! Okay. Wow. I actually have injured my hand with those air horns, but um, be that as it may, um, that concludes the victory screeching. Feel free to extend as you see fit. And before I hand off our proceedings to Chi Minh for the official victory toast, let me also say that we solicited in a very short time window a number of shout outs from clinic team members and liaisons and faculty members and others um, part of the program just to acknowledge some of the things they remembered from this year. I'm gonna share only four of the ones we have, and I'm gonna share all uh, engineering ones because I realize most of my pictures were more on the CS side. So, <clears throat> we've done our clinic catharsis and victory screech. Here are the shout outs. First, thank you to Richard, Richard Zhang, for the pictures on Project Pacer featuring other engineers, and indeed this is the case. I love the background details <laughs> from Tibetan flags to uh, really 2020 take on the screen right there. Is that Einstein in the background? This feels like a clinic victory screech uh, captured in a uh, single image. Thank you, Richard. And I, <laughs> I also love this with one quick question of who that might be at the front of the room. Still interested in that, but uh, thank you team. Also, Peter's birthday, thank you to Varun for sharing what looked to be really substantial pieces of birthday cake that the team shared. I like that. Um, Reese for being an amazing fall team leader for the Toyota Clinic team. Thank you, Makoto, for that. And our final uh, shout out for today, which is from Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. One of my favorite clinic moments this year was submitting the reimbursement for these NASA onesies, only to be asked by the engineering department what on earth we bought from Forever 21 <laughs> that was necessary for clinic. There's a lot of necessary stuff from Forever 21. <laughs> we sent in this picture and that was the only explanation necessary. I will miss my out of this world team. So thank you, Danielle. And with that, let me hand it off to Jimin.
Are you going to do the poll results or no? Oh, poll results. I, here we go. Oh, <laughs> only a few people chose um, our presidential beverage, I see. All right. All right. So thank you, Zach. Um, I want to thank you all for attending, uh, particularly our liaisons. Um, your work with the clinic is central to our mission. And this year really pushed the team in some unexpected directions for all of us. Um, Harvey Med Education relies on sponsor participation and we're so grateful for your investment in our students. Uh, likewise, faculty advisors are also faced uh, very suddenly in the middle of the semester, how we are supposed to guide our students, uh, sometimes have to come up with creative ways to replace access to labs and shops. So thank you for uh, de your dedication to your team and your, to the clinic. I would also like to ac acknowledge our, our clinic staff, uh, the behind the scene work to support the clinic teams requ require really a dedicated team. And this year they really provided a lot of creative guidance and technical support necessary to move all the team online. Most importantly, I would like to thank all the students here uh, to congratulate you on an extraordinary finish to the year. Uh, particularly the class of 2020, all the seniors has persevered through this extraordinary times, culminating in the, in the global emergency that caused personal loss and illness, extreme hardness for some students, and a sudden very unwelcome separation at the end of the time, at, at, at the end of your time here. And the resilience that you have shown line up well and will serve you well, uh, despite the losses that you might feel at this moment. To close this event, I would like to offer a toast to all of this year's clinic teams. Um, so have your beverage ready, uh, particularly to the class of 2020. So congratulations to the success in clinic. Uh, we look forward to staying connected with you virtually for now, but hopefully in the years physically uh, to come. So here's a toast, congratulations. You're here. Cheers. Um, so again, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, this concludes the formal portion of the event. Uh, we like to keep the chat room open. Uh, stay uh, as long as you want. Uh, if you want to chat with uh, anybody um, in, in the group here.